Well, more harrowing details about what took place at the notorious John Foster Square police station during apartheid have emerged. Reverend Frank Chikane has recounted the last time he saw anti-apartheid activist Neil Agut alive, saying he was struggling to walk. Chikane was himself held there and tortured. He testified at the inquest into Agat's death. Political editor Vuyo Mvoko was in court following the story. He's now back in studio and joins us live. So Vuyo, we heard testimony from Reverend Frank Chikane about the state in which he last saw Neil Agat. Yes, and uh, from what uh, he has told the inquest, he was uh, in a fairly good sport, uh, so to speak, in that um, he described this L-shaped corridor, and he was on the shorter side um, of it. And uh, from his cell, he could actually uh, peep through the keyhole whenever he had noises of people being taken out of or into um, cells. So he witnessed a lot of uh, this information. In fact, he made it a habit uh, that whenever he had noises or people uh, or movement, he would then go and look at what would have happened. So he was one of the best, uh, I mean, one of the last uh, people to see Neil Argett um, alive. And he described, of course, in great detail um, how he looked and what went through his mind as he was seeing him being whisked back um, from whatever torture room uh, they had taken Neil Agat. Let's have take a listen to part of what he had to say. I saw him coming with the police, um, struggling to walk, and uh, he was bending forward like that, um, almost like he was not able to pick up his, his body. It, it felt like the time I was chained myself against my feet and for hours. When you come out of it, you can't raise your back because it's painful. And of course, you also spoke about the public outcry, both locally and internationally, following Neil Agat's death. Yes, because um, in fact, um, the, I, I guess it is true to who Neil Argett was. Because, I mean, here was a guy um, who had all the privileges that white society um, enjoyed, but chose to sacrifice all of that and actually help people, I mean, who were, um, you, whom apartheid had treated grossly unfairly. So, uh, when after Neil Argett's death, uh, Reverend uh, Frank Chikane um, testified. He said a lot of things sort of began to change. For instance, they were then allowed uh, visits, which they were not um, um, allowed um, before. And uh, they were also uh, um, allowed to, in fact, there was less and less um, torture than was uh, previously um, the case, which I guess is, I mean, you know, like testament to really uh, who Neil Agat was. But let's take a listen to how uh, Frank Chikana himself put it. Agat's death allowed us to meet family for the first time. Um, um, that's how I was able to arrange with my wife to sign that powers of attorney and I told the police I would like to sign powers of attorney and that the documents must be brought and I was able to sign those documents. <laughs> so there was a we got new clothes, I mean new supply of clothes and even some food uh, which was not the case before. And, and the torture process stopped uh, during that time. 